So if I run this code, it is connected to untrusted hyphen root dot pad SSL dot com. It's doing a HTTP get. I'm expecting it to give me and check exception PKIX. Okay. SSL handshake exception PKIX path building field. So let's first go to this website and here we get the certificate warning. So let's download the certificate. We'll go to certificate path and download the root cert. Now in this case, there's only one which is the root cert. If there was a intermediate cert, we would have downloaded both. Normally try and avoid saving the website cert because the certificate, as you can see, is valid up till 23, 2023. But if you look at the root cert, it's valid up till 2036. And same will be for the intermediate cert. And all the certificates that are issued by this root will be considered valid if we have the root in the trust store. So let's do a copy to file. Um, so this is x.509 der encoded and I'll save it on my desktop as root cert. Okay. And then I'm going to go to desktop, do a cut, and then I'll paste it in my project, but if your location is different, you can use that. Don't have to paste it in the project. So now let's say in this case, we have only one cert, but let's say if there were more than one, so we'll cater it like that. So let's say a string certs equal to, let's just say final. And we'll say in this case, it's just root dot cert, root dot cer. But if, if it was more than one, then you can simply add them here, comma separated, another one and so on. So now we will create a key store and we have to define the path. So what we will do is we will say private final, let's make this private final, string trust store path equal to system dot uh, get property java dot io dot dmp dir temp directory plus file dot separator this is used so that java can provide whether it's like backslash or forward slash so we don't have to worry about it and i'm going to create the trust store in the temp directory. In Windows, it is basically percentage temp. In Linux, it is slash TMP slash or whatever it is. The system administrator has configured. Now file separator plus the file name, which is test.keystore. And then we will say private final string or rather let's do a care array password equal to dot to carry. So normally avoid storing password as string because strings are part of string pool. So it is unsafe to use them because the values can be easily accessed through string pool analysis. So it is preferred to use a carry array. So now we have done this. So let's first read the certificate file. So we'll basically just say for string 
cert file in certs private static final because the main method is static okay. and then we will say try and do a file input stream a new file input stream the cert file obviously in your case you should provide an absolute path in my case it is in the project that's why i am i have just used the name so now we will do the we have the file input stream let's do the buffered input stream semicolon buffered input stream equal to new buffered input stream file input stream now so i'm using this format because these two implement auto closable so try will close them for me instead of me closing them in finally or afterwards so now we want to read this cert so let's create a key store read the cert and then load it so which is key store key store equal to key store dot get instance let's do it of jks uh, let's do let's make it a constant so okay it's control alt c for windows the shortcut in intellij so now we have this now we'll say key store dot load for now we'll just say null null we'll do the password and all data so here we will say while the buffered input stream has something available then we can get the certificate by saying certificate factory uh, the instance is x.509 we saw that when exporting so here when we were exporting this thing uh, certificate copy to file so here it says x.509 okay and then we'll say generate the certificate using the buffered input stream and we will say key store dot set the certificate entry let's call it the root cert you can actually just say cert file the name the this is the the first entry is the alias and then the certificate and once we are done looping through and loading the certificates we will say key store dot store and in the new file output stream we want to write it to this thing trust store path with the password as that now once this is written we want to load it so that we can use it when making the call so we will say system dot set parameter uh, set property java x dot net dot ssl dot trust store which is your trust store path and the other one is your password i duplicated it by pressing ctrl d uh, now the password we'll have to do a new string password and then the trust store type will be the jks type now what we can do is let's run this
Okay, so it works. Because we are storing this in temp directory, so let's do this once uh, this is done. Let's just say new file, the trust store dot delete on exit so that in case the certificate changes when the program is deployed next time it will start fresh every time the program runs we will create a new one and load the certs and then delete it on exit to see this let's just do this thread dot sleep for 10 seconds so now let me load the temp directory which is percentage temp percentage so this is the last one because we didn't delete it so let me manually delete it i'm going to start the program and you will see once it runs test key store is there it made the call and now it's waiting for 10 seconds as soon as those 10 seconds are over test.keystore will be deleted there you go and then the program finished hope this helped thank you for watching